Right, so I thought I'd do a quick review of this uh, Aegeus Max sleeping bag. So I bought it for £80 off of Amazon after I got it recommended by somebody else. Um, so the reason I thought I'd do a quick review of it is because I was a bit surprised when I got it about what I thought about it. So... I got the the regular size, which is it said it was at 180 centimeters. So I'm about five foot, sort of eight, five foot nine, and um, and basically this is 180 centimeters. So I thought that should go over my head, but uh, I will show you in a little bit what i was a bit surprised about about how long it is and it doesn't actually go right over my well it does go a bit over my head but it doesn't go right over my head um so that's one thing i was a bit surprised about so i would recommend if you want it to go right over your head one of these aglius max sleeping bags you get it in the large size if, if so if you're about five foot eight five foot nine I would get it in a large size if you want it to go right over your head to keep you as warm as possible, you know, so you can really snuggle up in it. Um, so, yeah, that's what one thing I would recommend. But I'll show you when I get in it in a minute. Also, another thing I was a bit surprised about is the zip doesn't go all the way down. It only goes like three quarter length. The zip isn't the best zip I've ever I've ever seen on a sleeping bag. It's a little bit hard to get uh, do up and undo sometimes. I mean, it does up and it undoes. And when you're backpacking or bike packing, you're probably not that bothered about how quick you're getting in and out of the sleeping bag. It does the job. I'll show you in a minute when I get in it. Um, so that's another thing I was a bit surprised about. You can't just zip it all the way down, get in it a bit easily, and then zip it all the way up. And then you haven't got the option of using it as a bit of a quilt, maybe if it's a bit hot in the summer. So that's another thing I was a bit worried about. Also, I've been I've done one night in this sleeping bag, and it went down to four degrees, and I was fully clothed. And I was in a hammock with an under blanket. So, but I say, yeah, I was fully clothed, but it was really warm. I didn't feel the heat at all. But one thing I did notice was when I um, got changed the day after, I noticed on the back of the top I was wearing when I was sleeping, I had down feathers compressed into my back. So what I've realised is, is it's got little holes in it uh, a few places it's got little holes in it so that is not good because that is compromising the water repellency it could maybe let moisture into the sleeping bag so i'm not that happy about that but what i'm going to do is i i, I don't want to just send it back because it's probably about the lightest and most compact sleeping bag i'm going to bother getting at the moment for the money so I reckon you can just repair these little holes with a bit of black wick latex glue. So it will seal the hole a bit. And it's like a bit, you know, so a bit flexible. So it might look a bit funny with little black patches all over it. But I'm just going to go over this sleeping bag and just, just repair the holes with black wick glue. So, yes. I'll now show you... Uh, what it's like when I get in it I'll say um, this is the regular 180 centimeters and I'm about five foot five foot nine right so you start off you zip the zip nearly all the way down but you don't zip it totally down because the zip actually comes apart if you zip it all the way down and then it's a bit hard to get the zip back it back together again so you don't want to be bothering about that so you never zip it all the way down you can zip it part of the way down and then you get in it and you have to go all the way down to the bottom as far as you can and 
and then uh, pull it up like that so you, so your head gives your head something nice to rest on when you're in your bed and then you zip it up and then the zip it's, it's a nice lightweight zip that goes two ways so you can literally zip it all the way up zip it all the way up you can put that on if you like and then it's quite nice and cozy it just goes around your your chin and your face it gives you you know a little bit to breathe out of and the top bit goes over your head a little bit so i was a bit worried that i'd bought it and it was too small but i'm now i've got in it and i've tested it out nicely i'm, I'm a bit happy about it now i think it's going to do the job of what i want it to do so i'll show you about getting out of it now so yeah just have to uh, it's a little bit hard getting out of it it's a little bit hard to undo the zip to get out of it but like i say when you're backpacking as long as the, the sleeping bag um, does the job and the zip doesn't break it's not the end of the world getting out of bed you know really fast so that's what I think of the, uh, the Aegeus Max sleeping bag like I said it's, it's, uh, it's rated from 6 to 11 degrees comfort rating but I've had it down to four degrees and it um, it performed quite well, but I was fully clothed. So that's one thing you got to remember, I was fully clothed. If I was backpacking, I would probably just have my uh, top and bottom base layers on, like warm merino type base layers. Um, and, and if it was really cold, maybe a down jacket and a hat. Or something, you know, something on my bottoms if it is really, really cold, just to keep me a bit warmer. But that's that's normally all I would wear in my sleeping bag when I was backpacking. Something a bit dry and warm. So something nice to sleep in. So other than the little holes in it that I've probably got to try and repair, I am quite pleased. I'm quite happy with it, but I'm not happy about the holes so i hope this um this was you know helpful to you this review like i say if you are bouldering five foot sort of five foot nine five foot ten i would consider getting the larger size if you really want it to go right over your head so you know that is one thing i would consider i'll uh I'll show you what it's like when it's all compressed down, how big it is in the stuff sack next. Right, so there it is compressed into the sack. I thought I'd just show you. It's got this little uh, compression hood that goes over the top of it. So uh, you just have to let all these things all the way off um, before you put it on there and then stick that over the top like a little compression hood and uh yeah and then you just cinch it down cinch it down a bit and you can compress it a bit more so that's the regular size is 450 grams and uh, that's how small it is uh, the large size is 550 grams so and obviously it's a little bit bigger than that but I don't think it's much bigger than that but that is really small and compact so that will go in your sleeping bag really well so um, so far 
I mean, obviously I haven't used it and tested it in the field a lot. I've only used it once so far. The only thing I'm happy about is the little holes, but you can fix them with black witch glue or something similar to that. You can get carp fishing uh, latex glue. I think it'll probably do the job. It'll just seal the hole and it will give it a little waterproof repellent, you know, a little waterproof it a little bit as well because it's waterproof glue. So I would recommend getting that, but get some black witch glue or something just to repair the little holes if you get little holes. But yeah, my first impression, um, I'm quite happy because it's so compact and so light and I've used it once and it's done well. So my first impression, I'm quite happy. Hopefully it will last me for a few years yet. So cheers. I hope you like this review and I'll see you again sometime.